Hello there, my name's Dave Allen, I'm Gooing Geeky, and I made a video yesterday about how to make some databases on Obsidian. And today I've decided to do things a little bit different because I saw a video by a guy called Sergio. And let's just have a look at his uh, channel here. And he's got a video here called How to Create a Movie Database in Obsidian. And if I'd have seen this yesterday, I probably would have made my own, but still. I've uh, changed mine to be like his because it's actually a better way of doing it. It does involve getting an OMD API key, not too difficult, easily done. It does involve having uh, this template here, although you do need to make a bit of a change to it because there's a requirement to have a double um, colon there in between the, uh, this part here and this sort of where it says value post. So you'll have to change the template a little bit there to make it work. And then um, you have to bring in um, this uh, data query. So there's a bit more setting up to do. Follow his tutorial and you'll find that it'll work fairly well. Just make that change that I said there. And I'll just show you the difference between the two. Now this is what I did yesterday and it's not looking too bad actually. I've got the poster in there. I've got the status in there. I've got the actors in there that I want to have in there. It's all working pretty good actually. But the difference with this is that I've actually also added it so that it's getting the data from IMDB. So this one here, Avatar Way of the Water. All this information came in courtesy of the script and the API to the OMDB database, which was really useful and really easy. So that was better. It makes things a bit quicker when you're setting up the uh, the uh, page or the um, document in Obsidian for the film. So that's something that's uh, worth looking at. Um, let's see. I'll just show you the template that I've got in here now for this one. Uh, I've called it uh, Groovy Movie. This bit here, I had to put in two colons there to make it work, because in the uh, uh, YouTube channel there's only one colon there and it didn't work, so I had to change that. And um, also added um, this here, this, uh, where we go to now? So I went into here, I added quick add, and I had to do some managing of macros, this add movie, and this one comes up nicely here. So now what I can do is, if I want to add a movie to this here, so let's add a movie, so if I do uh, command P, it's set up so I can do add movie. Let's go to add movie, quick add. That's the one I want. And the movie I'm going to put in there, let's just say Batman, just as an example. That's a movie I have watched in the past. They're all a bit dire, those movies, aren't they? Not sort of the uh, cheeriest of uh, movies to watch, but still. So let's click on OK. And let's say it was uh, Batman Begins. Just putting the uh, Batman Begins in there. Try and spell it right. Click on OK. And hopefully that's brought that in. So let's just go have a look in our uh, movies folder now there. So this is our movies folder. And in there we've got Batman Begins. And as you see, it brought all the information in there. And wasn't that just quick and easy? All I need to do now is to go into this one here and just change the status to complete. The other thing I'd like to put in there as well is a date. So I'm not sure what date I watched this, but normally when you do these things here, you're going to be a date in there. So let's just uh, change the date in there. So let's put a date in there and then uh, those there. I'm going to have to change this in the um, template today. That'll do. So imagine I used uh, I watched it today. I didn't, but it was some time ago. But still, you, it could be today. So that's something I want to change there. Let's go back into the templates. And then this one here, after this here, I'm going to put in a date and those there. So now when I do this next time, it'll come up and give me the opportunity of putting the date in there. So I say, this system does work a little bit better if you follow his system, but you could still use the other system that I used yesterday and use the database folder. So um, for instance, let's just go back into this one here. Movies watched. So this is my system here that I set up and uh, Batman Begins is in there. It's just brought that in there. You can still use that. Actually, Cast is in there. Okay, it's because it's come in there with a lowercase c. So let's just put a capital C in there. And come back out of that there. Okay, so because I put a capital C in there, now that's come in there through with the actors. Okay, so that's worked. I could do the same with this one here as well and change this one to a capital C. That's uh, something I have to change in the template as well. And go back into the database. And as you can see, now we've got the axes in there as well. Let's go back into the uh, template for this here. And I'm going to change this here, cast to capital C for that there. So now that's going to work. Good stuff. 
and back out of this here. And same with these things here as well. You can put uh, your ratings and your dates in there. So in Batman Begins, I can go to this one here and I can do a uh, insert template. Um, let's do um, this one here. Template, and I'm going to use, uh, let's say it was uh, three stars. So I'll go back out of this here now into this one here. Let's go back to Batman Begins. Rating, maybe it needs a capital letter there as well. Let's come back into this one here. There we go, just need a capital letter in there. So there's something you'll need to look out for. And uh, say, have a look at Sergio's videos because they're pretty good. He's got a lot of information there about how to use um, Obsidian. And I've been following some of those to learn some stuff myself. Go for it. Make yourself a movie database.